Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. I am Pastor Mitch, and today our verses are 1 Corinthians 6, verses 19 through 20. Before we get there, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I have two kids of my own, Remy, my daughter, who's 11, and Daxton, my son, who's 6. And I, and I love them with my entire being. See, there is nothing that I would not do for them. And sometimes, depending on the day, I have to remind them that they are my children. And depending on the context, that may mean one of two things. See, if they're having a hard day, or they feel attacked or alone, when I say, you are my child, it is a reminder to them that I will defend them and protect them with everything that I have against all others, and that no matter what, they can always find safety with me. But sometimes, my kids have a bit of an attitude problem. And during those times when I remind them that they are my children, it is a reminder that they live under my rules, that my wife and I, as parents, get to set the bedtime, that we get to decide when someone gets to play the video games, and that we get to decide certain things, and they don't. In our verses today, 1 Corinthians 6, verses 19 through 20, we read this. It says, Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price. So you must honor God with your body. You do not belong to yourself, for God bought you with a high price. For the proud, this is a reminder that we should not boast in what we do or what we accomplish, but should instead rejoice in the fact that God, who's the creator of the universe, thought that, we, or thought that he would like to include us in his plans to bring salvation to others. It should be a reminder that God did not pay this high price for us to be selfish or for us to cause harm to others. And for those who feel rejected, for the, the insecure, For those that feel like they have little worth, this is a warm and a gentle reminder that you have a God who loves you, that you have a God who is passionate for you, you have a God that was willing to pay the ultimate price so that you could spend an eternity with him. God knew everything about us before the moment of creation. He knew all the good and the bad things that we would do in our lives the ways that we would reject him, and the ways that we would cause harm to others. And he was still willing to pay a high price so that our sins could be erased. So have you really let God become Lord of your entire life? Or are there some things that you are still holding on to? Maybe you feel like it's been fine to give God a portion of your life, but you still keep other parts of it for yourself. Or maybe there are relationships in your life that are destructive, destructive to you or to your family that you're not ready to give up yet. Maybe God is Lord over the family part of your life, but not your business, because religion has no place in business, right? Have you really made God of your life? Or do you really trust that God loves you and that he is working in the background of your life on your behalf? That he has invested much in you because he sees your worth? Do you think that God was wrong when he decided that you were worth the price that Jesus paid for you? Or do you believe God when he says that you have value? My challenge for you today is to simply ask God to remind you of his love for you or to show you the areas in your life that you still need to submit to his will. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you next week.